is my all-time favorite eye primer by Too Faced. Now, we are going to move into our semi-sweet chocolate bar by Too Faced. And I'm going to be using peanut butter. And now we're gonna put it all over our crease. This is gonna be our type of transition. Obviously, I do not want to just have this orangey look in my face. Oh my eyes, excuse me, ma. So I'm going to go ahead with my Cut on the Shapeless Light Eyeshadow Contour Palette. I'm going to be using Incius right here and complement it along with our peanut butter. We are progressing with our little look now. What is this? Stop it! So now we are going to move on again with our shape plus light eye contour by Kathleen. And now we're going to be using Samuel or Samuel. <laughs> this the creamy yellowish matte shade. And we're gonna put it all over our crease. And now, we are going to put some shimmer on our look because <laughs> who doesn't love glitter on their eyes? So we are gonna move on into our Urban Decay One Stephanie. Open up! Okay. Steady. This is like a really peachy, shimmery shade. And we're gonna put it all over that again. finish up our eye look we are going to put some more glitter on our inner corner so I'm going to be using coffee a light coffee light this shimmery silver color and put it on our inner corner as usual we're going to move into our face as usual I am going to be using my Too Faced primer I'm going to take a little bit and put it, and put it around my Face. I am going to use my cap on the Rocket Tattoo Foundation and we're gonna do this. Poop on it. Now that we are done with our little face, we are going to finish our eye look by moving these two colors here. So we're gonna go again with peanut butter. Little story. The first time I ever did this, like the under eye eyeshadow, you have no idea how many times I poked my eyes with eyeshadow and it was like all over my actual eye and it was really scary. by Kat Von D. I'm gonna do it from here to here. So not, it's not gonna be all over, it's gonna be just from here to here. We are gonna move into our little eyebrows because they've been looking like something. Huh? So I'm going to be using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Granite. Going to full Feel my eyebrow. You see the difference? I barely even try. The reason why I love this pencil is because it makes your eyebrows look so much more natural. And I have the pomade too by Anastasia, and I love it. I adore it. 
but sometimes it just makes my eyebrows look too like I just put some marquee on it so I'm happy to go It's funny, I don't sweat like really bad. I only sweat like my nose is the only thing that sweats. I don't know why I just told you that. <laughs> now we are going to go or with or okay now I'm gonna say right. Okay, you ready? Maybelline Master Precise by Eye Studio. Black and black. <laughs> Hopefully it comes out good, okay? Pray for me you guys. Proud of you. I am so scared to do this one because I always do it differently. But let's try. Ow, my butt! <laughs> Before my card got full, I finished my eyeliner and I think it looks good. You let me know. I'm losing daylight. And that's not good, you guys. I still have to show you my outfit and my hair. That's just not good. I have to hurry up. Now we're going to use this for the first time in forever. I actually swatched it on my hand um, the first time I got it, and as you can tell, it's very pigmented. So we're gonna put this in our under eye. Did you see that? Tell me you saw that, please. Ow! Okay. Okay. So. I couldn't do that on camera. I'm sorry, you guys. I was poking my eye and I just couldn't bear with the pain. So I just went in front of my mirror right there and did it. Um, it's not noticeable right now, but I promise you it's there. And then I went over with just a black pencil and did it all on my top waterline. So now we're gonna move into mascara. And of course, we're going to be using my Marc Jacobs mascara because it's heaven and I don't usually curl my eyelashes because I don't feel like it does any difference so you but you can do yes if you feel like it can really put any and can you see the difference already can can you please tell me you can Just to summarize this for you, I did not went in with this mascara. I did not just like went like this and like cut it out again. I just did it once. I got so much product for my both, for both of my eyes. So you can tell how amazing this is. Yes, you can. Now we're gonna move into my favorite part, contouring this fatty face. Let me rephrase that before I get so much hate my chubby face because as you can tell it's like yeah and why okay you guys have to tell me this do i scream in my videos like in every beginning of my video i feel like hello guys and it's just like well sit my down honey boo it's just a video but i'm sorry it happens okay but i'm going to be moving with my anastasia beverly hill contour kit the powder 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 kit I'm gonna use, use my finger to set the lines. If you guys didn't know, when you use your fingers, there is a lot of more pigmentation than using a brush. It's the truth. Right after that, I just go with a little brush and Brush it and make sure it's blended. So 
After that, I just go with the contour kit again and just grab these two colors, this one and this one, and try to contour my jaw bone because I feel like that is very important. How your jaw, how sharp your jaw looks. Ooh, boo. I love when girls, even guys, when their jaw is so sharp and oh, it's like, damn, I'm jealous. I'm very jealous. And I like to contour my little chin. Is this a chin? I think it is. I'm sorry, you guys. Dab it just a little bit because it's really pigmented and go over with on my nose. And yes, I'm using my viewfinder for this because. are going to highlight my face and obviously we're going to go with my Becca highlighter or liquid highlighter should I say and just a little goes a long way honey boo but since I love that shimmer on my face I just boo, boo, boo. do this and as you can tell that's a lot but you know what let me look like a star. I love looking like a star. <laughs> Light shines. This is going to go over with my small beauty blender and dab that into my skin. See, it looks like I have more here than here. But that's just how life goes, you know? Even if I put more here, it's gonna still look like that, so... After I do that, I go over with this nasty eye palette that I don't know where I got it from. It's very... not very old, but it's old. But I still love this color, it's really shimmery. And I use that to set in my highlight with more highlights, ha! <laughs> I love shining like a star, shining like a diamond. I'm going to put a little bit of eyebrow gel with my Anastasia. I tell you this stuff is good, this stuff is good. For lips. We are going to use the two things on um, these babies here. Yes, you're gonna be like, wow, why is so dark? But we're going with a smoky kind of look, so. Um, we're gonna be using the Color Stay by Riblon in shade Wine. And I'm, I don't, you don't need this. I just use it because I suck at using, using dark lipsticks on my lips because I use <laughs> I look like Miranda things. So we don't want that. We don't want that. So I just use this to make sure I do a right job. to put on the Kat Van D liquid matte lipstick in the shade Vampira. I love this shade so much. Wish me luck. And right at this moment, Stephanie knew she fucked up. I got to put a lip balm. Guys, you have to put a lip balm because then your <laughs> lips are gonna be too dry.
whenever I do this, it gets like a little ombre look because it looks like. I don't know. This might be just me. But that's it, you guys. We are finally done with our face. So now we can just move into our outfit. So, shall we do that? Let's do that.